So, what's up guys? I'm with Jeremy. You've seen him in previous videos. We actually picked up a new car together as a project. It's gonna be like a restoration project. I don't know if you guys can tell from the interior what it is. Comment uh, below, wrong answers only. <laughs> <laughs> this is a little hint, so. Yeah. Probably just gave it away. We both used to own 240s. I had an S14 right. with an RB25, and uh, Terrence had an S13 with an LS1. Ever since we sold them, we've just been regretting it, you know? Yeah, and now prices like went sky high. Hey, we're yeah, like, dude, yeah. we gotta get another one I before know. like we can't yeah, afford them. I sold mine way under <clears throat> what I should have gotten for it. So. First, this is actually our first time driving it together. Um, yeah, it when is. When we first bought the car, Jeremy drove it home. And I didn't even drive it for like a week. <laughs> but this is like the first time we're both in the car and we can like share our thoughts. You guys can see just how mint, I would say. Oh, All yeah, original, except nice. for the stereo. But... Oh, this thing even has cruise control. Oh, yeah. It works. Oh, here you go. Oh, it's engaged. No there you go. Check that out. Oh. <laughs> I've always wanted an uh, S14. And before I even got my first 240, uh, which was an S13, actually all the 240s I had were S13s, I went to go look at an S14. And it was a black Zanke. It was KA in stock. And, and then it was a little expensive. So then I found another S13. And it was SR20. So it was faster. And it was cheaper, so I kind of settled for that because I was like 16 and wanted something fast. <laughs> um, so this is really there cool because I've never actually had an S14. Yeah, I bought my 240 with my RB already in it, uh, but uh, it blew up in like the first couple of months of me owning it, I think. Oh, you no. gotta tell them your, the story of how the, the motor blew up. Oh <laughs> man, one of our buddies, David, was driving the car. We were doing some pulls in it. We were at my buddy's shop. Everybody was there. Like 20 people were yeah, there. Yeah, we were here with this like super dope RB25 swapped S14, right? And David's driving it. First it's day I showed everybody the car, right? Comes back into the parking lot of the shop and is just knocking like a. You weren't even with him? I wasn't even in the car. No, I was not even in the car. So, yeah. so to this day, uh, you know, we give him a little. What do you think? I'm thinking like restoration project of sure, for sure. Yeah. We want to keep this thing. Mint only because 240s are harder and harder to come by in stock condition, right? Like, you just never see that. Yeah. They're all we, uh, clapped out or. They are. We looked everywhere for a clean 240 out of state. For like three months. For, yeah, for a while. <laughs> and uh, finally, this one popped up. Yeah, we just had to jump on it. We just picked up this 97 Nissan 240SX. A proper true Koki. Oh, yeah. No Fokies around here for all you <laughs> Zanky guys. Just kidding. We love you Zanky oh, people no. as well. But uh, we really wanted to find a car that we could do a proper restoration project on. Um, and yep. this is something that Jeremy and I are both like, we both had 240s, right? I had an S13, many S13s, he's had an S14. And an S13. And an S13 for a little bit. So we really wanted something that we both were interested in, were comfortable with. These things are rare. Yeah. I mean, we yeah, looked them yeah. up there. We, you looked for a long time. I'll post it up, but the production numbers for this thing, it's like S13s and stuff. There was like 80, 90,000 of them made. This thing, there was 3,000-ish made in 97, and then in 98, only like 2,000 were made. And like, probably more than half of them are crashed or wrecked. <laughs> Rolling or drifting. Shells, you know? So this car checks off all the boxes that we set up as our requirements. We looked all over the country for like three months and seriously this Everywhere. was the only one that would meet our standards Big regardless title, of price regardless smog. of price yeah, right? yeah that's what main thing we didn't want like you know typical hot smog 240 yeah like so what was it clean title clean title pass the smog pass the smog uh, legally clean, you know, yeah one uh, color clean yeah. no damage right yeah. uh true cokey mm -hmm. and a manual yeah and this thing checks off all those boxes and I challenge you guys to find one because <laughs> we looked forever yeah. and could not find one. It's it's like impossible. They're either SR swapped, RB swapped, clapped out, mismatching body Something, panels. Right. Has Basically, some, my car back in the day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, those, half of, of them things. are salvage title. Yeah. Like this is a really this is like a hard combination. Yeah, I had the salvage title Rainbow 240. Uh, with the fully built RB, that was pretty sick. Yeah, but it doesn't have small. Well, you know, like, it's, yeah. you can't drive it. Yeah. We're in California, we yeah. want something we can drive without worrying about cops like constantly like pulling us over yeah. and getting yeah. both state ref.
plans for the 240? Plans for the 240? Uh, well, first thing we're going to do are uh, we're going to take the Kofi front. Oh, <laughs> do a Zanky swap. <laughs> Zanky swap. <laughs> Uh, I yeah. think I think diff mounts for sure. Um, I mean, overall, I think our goal is to just do like a restoration. Yeah, thing. yeah, like overall, just kind of fix because it, it's pretty good condition for, for what it is. What do you think about um, potentially tracking the car? Or yeah, maybe not? yeah, I don't know. I, I think that would be dope. I would just be worried about like something happens. Sure. Like, so maybe maybe more take it to like meets and stuff. Yeah. What do you guys think? I don't know. Comment below. What should we do with the 240? Yeah, what should we do? <laughs> we're not going to wide body it though. <laughs> no, or anything. No, we're trying body. to keep it stock yeah. just because, like, it's it's more rare now to have a stock 240 than it is oh, to have a sure. totally souped up one yeah. anymore. These I days, think an so. autocross event could be sick. I, don't know if, I, don't, I wouldn't drift. That's going to be our number one rule is keeping this thing bone stock. Um, right now, I think it has the Arrow Wolf mirror, like, cover things, yeah, which will be for sale. <laughs> so if you want some, yeah. let us know. For us, the end game is just kind of restoring it back to like factory original. I mean, it's all it's all stock, but it's got like you know little things here and there that that could be fixed or replaced, um, and just restoring it. Because we both used to have two for these. Now we're super modded up, yeah. and uh, yeah, now we got a stock one. We'll get the car up on a lift. And we'll go underneath it, check it out, see exactly the condition of it, and yeah, first thing I think is the diff mounts, because yeah. I think it's clunky. It clunks. It's bad. And then we'll take it out to shows, or car meets. I think there's a 240 meet locally coming Yeah, right so, here, right? Yeah, so okay. we'll take it to a 240 meet, and uh, maybe do some like light autocross track days. I don't know, we'll see, we'll yeah. see. Yeah, we'll keep some videos coming, you guys can see the progress. You know? Like and subscribe. Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah.